she banged the door. More plaster fell. This time, it fell on Thomas. Thomas felt depressed. One winter evening, Henry's driver said, We'll be out early tomorrow. We've got to take the flying fucker. Hurrah, cried Henry. That will be lovely. Shut up! Oh, my God, I don't care! <laughs> cried Henry. Henry was ready at five o'clock. There was snow and froth. Men hustled and shouted, loading the vans with crates of cocaine. The last door banged. The guard showed his green cock. The flying fucker was ready to go. <laughs> then a yellow signal appeared ahead. His driver prepared to stop. Then he thought, fuck it. All clear, Henry. Away we go. Goods train was waiting in the siding to let the flying kipper pass, and the driver and fireman were drinking in the brake van. Ten past eight in the morning, said the guard, and I'm pissed up, and it's your fault, you stupid, dirty minge. Please, can we have a chance? I'm not drunk, said the fireman. I think it's about time that you fucked off. Henry's driver and fireman had jumped clear before the crash. But Henry lay dazed and surprised. The fat controller came to see him. Said Henry. Fuck up, can't. Said the fat controller. I'm sending you to crew a fine place for sick engines. Won't that be nice? Yay, said Henry doubtfully. James hated his life. He could well remember that dreadful accident. Everyone came to admire James. I've got such a hard on and suddenly let off come <coughs> Help! I'm choking! James thought they had better go. <coughs> Hello James, said Thomas. Feeling better? Oh, that's my guard's whistle. I must go. I don't know what the fat controller would do without me to run this branch line. And he puffed off importantly. I can't. Edward and James passed the field where James had had his accident. <laughs> Next morning, the fat controller spoke severely to him. You are a sad little cunt, aren't you? You have a leather bootlace there, I see, sir, uh, said the guard to a smartly dressed man. Please give it to me. I won't, said the man. Please give it to me. Then, said the guard, I'm afraid the train will just stop. Stop! 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 The passengers all said what a bad railway it was. Then they told the man how bad he was instead. Hang yourself, said the man. I can't take it anymore! <laughs> Hello, Thomas, whistled Percy. You look splendid. Yes, indeed. Blue is the only proper colour for I've an I've always it. been green. I wouldn't want to be any other colour either. Well, 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 anyway, are we in it? Huff, blue, <laughs> fuck you. Whee! Hey, she was eight. She was eight. Later, Thomas was resting when Percy arrived. A large hopper was loading his trucks full of coal. Careful! No! The last load poured down. Cancer! Cried Thomas. <coughs> <coughs> Chuckled Percy. You don't look really useful now, Thomas. You look really racist. I'm not racist. Choked Thomas. <coughs> Thomas was grumpy in the shed that night. What do you want? I wouldn't know why you just shouted at me. What do I fucking shout at you? Pain your fucking mouth, mate. I'm a grown man. I live in Smevic, Birmingham. If you want the fucking brawl, come down to Smevic, ask for Danny G, you little prick. Oi, stop shouting. Who do you think you are? Shouting! Shouting! I'm not your fucking voice box out your phone, son, and I'll kill you! Excuse me, you won't kill me, because I'm a gangster. No! Shut up, you dickhead, now fuck off! Oh, me, so go! It was time for Thomas to leave. It was time for Thomas to leave. <laughs> the house rocked. Plaster was everywhere. Thanks for this. That's We're right, my excellent. holiday. His wife picked up her plate. The fucking bass is fucking raw! Yeah! 
Thomas felt depressed. 